Six Flags Magic Mountain is adding yet another record-breaking roller coaster to their collection, this time the tallest and longest single rail coaster in the world, bringing their collection to a total of 20, which is the most roller coasters in one park across the globe, which is pretty incredible. Hey, they should be proud of themselves. They beat Energylandia. Their newest attraction is Wonder Woman Flight of Courage. This is an RMC Raptor track coaster identical to Jersey Devil at Six Flags Great Adventure. There are a couple small differences. I'll get to those in a second, but the majority of the layout is the exact same. Flight of Courage will have 3,300 feet of track. Jersey Devil only has 3,000. Flight of Courage goes 58 miles per hour and so does Jersey Devil. So that part is not a record breaking stat. Here's the one that gets me, 131 foot tall lift hill Jersey Devil, 130 feet tall. So yes, they did beat their own record by one foot. Both roller coasters have a drop at 87 degrees and the exact same inversions, a dive loop, zero G stall, and zero G roll. So no, they didn't really go through any big reprofiling changes here. All of the elements will look and feel as they do on Jersey Devil. The only change is with the start and end of the ride. Wonder Woman Flight of Courage takes up part of the land that was occupied by Green Lantern First Flight. In fact, the station is in the exact same location. So what they had to do in order to fit this in is modify how it starts and ends. When Jersey Devil departs the station, it goes straight up the lift. On Wonder Woman Flight of Truth, you'll be taking a left-hand turn to start up the lift. You go through the standard layout, and then at the very end, instead of going straight into the brake run, there's a modified bank turn that will pass over the pathway and then into your first set of block breaks. And these are an angle to go around the main path there. So this whole plaza is gonna be completely revamped, which is fantastic because that section of the park really needed it. Green Lantern was the disaster of a roller coaster and that area has sat empty for years. It was a huge eyesore. So I really like that they're gonna be breathing new life into that section. And I really do want to focus on the location of this right here because it is very creative how they fit this roller coaster in. Originally, when rumors were swirling that Magic Mountain might be adding a Raptor, I was thinking, I'm not sure how this is going to feel because there's not a ton of land where this roller coaster is going. But I got to say, just looking at this rendering, I'm pretty impressed here. If you're unfamiliar with this section of Magic Mountain, when you enter this particular plaza, Towards the left, you have Justice League. Directly ahead is Riddler's Revenge. To the right is where their Shoot the Shoots attraction was, and that has been completely removed. The part of that ride that is getting used by this new roller coaster is mainly where the lift, drop, mid-course, and airtime hill is. It was kind of a squarish, rectangular-ish area. So this roller coaster isn't taking up all of it because this is a very narrow attraction. But instead what they've done is they've had that dive loop and the bank turn after the mid-course jut out into the pathway a little bit. It will definitely change how that plaza feels. I know one of the things that I was immediately thinking of is, you know, Jersey Devil has a really loud lift hill. From how far away in the park are you going to be able to hear this thing when it's going up? That still remains to be seen. In addition to the roller coaster, we are seeing some new theming in place. This includes what Magic Mountain is describing as a themed entrance portal in queue inspired by Themyscira, which is the hidden island that Wonder Woman is from. You'll get some Greek-inspired architecture, some tropical landscaping. Think about what we see with Wonder Woman Golden Lasso down at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. I imagine that this will be fairly similar. And actually, that's a great looking queue. I really like the architecture there. They have a Wonder Woman statue. I would be shocked if there is not a Wonder Woman statue somewhere in the queue. I'm not expecting great theming from this ride. Six Flags has not been one to go above and beyond when it comes to that sort of thing. They definitely more focus on the thrill aspect, which is fine. I would just like to see that this ride aesthetically is pleasing to the eye and is an improvement to the area in the park this ride is plopped down in. The only other notable change really coming with this attraction is that Magic Man is also going to add a brand new restaurant and bar experience. This is just gonna be a remodel of a current restaurant in the park. It's not gonna be a ground up location. So now that you know what to expect, let's get to the meat of this thing. Is this a good fit for Magic Mountain? You gotta think, with a park that has so many roller coasters, so many different experiences, riding in a single file line on this attraction is going to be very different than every other roller coaster in the park. So in that regard, it definitely is a good fit. It should be very cool. Like Jersey Devil, Wonder Woman will have up to four trains it can run. Doesn't mean they'll run with four all the time. In fact, I would say probably expect it to run with three the majority that it's operating. And with 12 riders per train, I will say even though the lines at Jersey Devil can get long, I think they manage it well, so I'm not too concerned about capacity with this ride. I think the main thing that a lot of people are disappointed with is that they have gone with a near clone of Jersey Devil and not something more original. And I can understand that. The main thing that you got to keep in mind is that typically 
typically the same people going to Six Flags Great Adventure in New Jersey are not the same people who are going to Six Flags Magic Mountain in California. They're offering the same sort of experience on both coasts, and it makes a lot of sense. You also got to think from a design standpoint, it costs Six Flags a lot less money for Rocky Mountain to just use a design that they already have then create something entirely different. It's also easier from a manufacturing standpoint to build something that you have already built before because by nature, it's gonna take less time. I also think the theme makes a lot of sense. I know a lot of people are getting tired of DC themes, but because of where it is in the park, I mean, come on, it's right next to a roller coaster called Riddler's Revenge. You have Justice League right there, Batman the Ride right there. Yeah, of course this is gonna have a DC theme. And they don't have a roller coaster theme to Wonder Woman, so why not? Yes, that does mean that there are two single rail roller coasters themed to Wonder Woman, but at least they were kind enough to give it a different name for the second half. So now you have Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster and Wonder Woman Flight of Courage. I would love to see Six Flags' as random name generator that they used to come up with all of these different names. They also did go with the exact same colors as Wonder Woman down in Texas which is kind of funny. I mean, at least in terms of layout, Jersey Devil is not as extreme or intense as the more compact single rails. I believe that with rides like Golden Lasso and Railblazer and Stump Pilot, you get a bit more fast paced, rapid experience, more sudden twists and turns. I think that's where the single rail track really thrives. And when you have an out and back layout like this, it by nature is not utilizing those turns quite as much. Some of those elements definitely are more drawn out. So this is not gonna be the most extreme roller coaster at Magic Mountain, which I think is totally fine, because again, they have a lot of rides there. But bottom line, it is gonna be a crowd pleaser. It's not gonna be too much like Wonder Woman down in Texas can be for some people. So overall, in terms of ride placement, I think this is a great fit for Six Flags Magic Mountain. My only complaint with this whole thing is I think it was a huge wasted opportunity for the park not to be teasing this thing for weeks now. They just kind of announced it out of the blue. There was no buildup at all. And that to me is really disappointing. I have no idea why they chose to do that. It's also interesting that they chose to announce the new roller coaster so late, it being almost the end of October here. But hey, I'm sure they have their reasons. I want to hear from you guys though, down in the comments below, what do you think of Wonder Woman Flight of Courage coming to Six Flags Magic Mountain in 2022? Do you agree with the things I've said? Do you think there's anything I missed? You can let me know. And of course, stay tuned for more coaster analyses here at Coaster Studios, and I'll see you next time.